Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a super easy dish, beef and broccoli. We're gonna do it our way, you guys stay tuned. All right, these are the common ingredients that you would normally see. Now listen, beef and broccoli is more of a savory dish. I like making this because I feel like it's uh, it's a little bit more on the healthier side, loaded up with broccoli, not as much sugary uh, substances involved. So you guys can adjust the recipe accordingly. We will have the recipe listed on our website, 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 theflattopking.com. You guys check it out because we've already got a head start to make this painless as possible. Nobody needs to see me measure out ingredients, but this is what we do have. We have beef stock, soy sauce, a little red pepper. We will use this later. Ginger garlic, sesame oil, oyster sauce. This is absolutely a fantastic. Fantastic. Um, a little additive when you do your fried rice. We don't do it often because it's not something that I constantly have on hand. But when we do a fried rice and we have it, it always goes in. Okay. A little brown sugar and some baking soda. Now, this is the deal. I've got some sirloin uh, roast that's actually been uh, thin sliced and then sliced again. So you guys can see the consistency that we're looking for. Almost kind of like the idea of like a little bit thinner beef jerky. I have marinated uh, this in baking soda, about a uh, quarter, quarter maybe a quarter teaspoon. Not much. Nope, and just massage it in there and it's been going for about 15, 20 minutes. And that helps to? Tenderize it. Uh, the correct term should be called velveting. Um, eh, I don't do it often, but it's, uh, it definitely gives that a texture that you're accustomed to when you're eating at your favorite to-go restaurant. We are watching our carbs this week. So that's why it is a perfect dish for me because I can cook all this broccoli and have a guilt-free dinner on the griddle. We got our Blackstone heating up. Ready? Yep. Let's go. When we're talking about easy griddle recipes, once you have everything measured out, literally, it's a two-step process. You cook your beef, three-step. You cook your beef, you cook your broccoli, you add your sauce, and you're done. This is what I'm talking about. Thin coat of oil, just try to get some browning on my beef. Each one, of course, needs to have its own landing zone. It helps with the browning, the caramelization. All right, since our broccoli is so large, you can obviously cut it ahead of time. I'm going to use a good old bench scraper just like this. Right on the griddle. Not a big deal. Save a dish. Just make sure if you guys are chopping on your griddle that you're chopping straight down, right? You're not trying to like scratch into your seasoning. You work so hard to get it coated and non-stick and all that stuff. You don't want to damage your seasoning by cutting it the wrong way. Just add a little black pepper right before you start moving your beef around. Woo, it smells good. Now we are not adding salt because... Oh, we got a lot of... Well, I wouldn't say a lot. This is kind of like a... Uh, it's a it's a dish that um, is well respected, but it's not as, as strong flavored as what you would think. So, although there is soy sauce in there, we are using low soy sodium sauce too. That's the color I'm looking for, so we're really close. All right, I don't want to overcook the steak, so I just moved it off to the colder side of the griddle. This is on low. Bring this broccoli over here. All that fond on the bottom, I'm gonna to try to pick up a little bit for flavor. Add just a little bit of that sauce in there.
told you it was gonna happen fast. Literally just added a little bit of salsa to the, uh, the broccoli. About half of it, then a little bit more towards the beef. There you go. Now obviously you can add more vegetables. You can make it spicy. And you do anything you want to do. You're the one eating it. Looks good to me. There you go. Add a little sesame seeds if you like. Optional. I just like the crunch. A little toasted note on there. And there you go. Beef and broccoli. Incredibly easy. I'm talking about less than 20 minutes. Prep work, cook time, clean time, everything. Dinner on the table. And it's healthy. Mm. Mm. Clean tasting. I was gonna say the exact same thing. Clean tasting. You don't get, I'll tell you what I don't like when I go to restaurants, when their vegetables, one are overcooked, but two, they're like cooked in so much sauce and thickening power that it's almost like a glue inside the broccoli. That is like the big culinary turnoff for me. And this is not like that. Separated the sauce, it's a little bit thinner. You see it coats very well. Perfect accompaniment for any type of rice, noodle. We're just gonna eat it plain just like this. It's got everything we need. We are good to go. And then I won't feel bad about eating my dessert tonight. <laughs> All right guys, there you go. Incredibly easy. Uh, don't forget, check out theflattopking.com. We'll have the full recipe list below, step-by-step -step instructions. She does a good job. She's the one that manages it. What do you say? Uh, check out, uh, let's see, check something out. Check uh, the Griddle Group out. That's where we're talking about griddle, talking about Asian food, talking about, oh, we're doing that fish coming up. I've been teasing people that I went fishing with my dad. We got that big Sunday supper coming up. What else? Check out that join button down below. It's where you guys can help with the channel. And last but not least, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. This is good. Guiltless. Guilt guiltless? Yep. You want a is healthy, that a word? You want a healthy recipe on the griddle. This is it.